What's up everyone? It's Sydney and this is your 45 minute chest and triceps boot camp. So grab your dumbbells and let's get started. I'm so excited that you're here today for our upper body boot camp. We have a chest and triceps focus today, so our push muscles. Make sure you have your water and your sweat towel, and if you haven't grabbed your summertime fine sweat towel, we do have our purple and our blue, so make sure nice and long for you to lay on. Make sure you have your sweat towel and your water. Also have my sliders for a little bit of activation warm up in the beginning of the workout, so if you wanna pull those out or your paper plates or your towels, anything that will work for you and the bench for chest press, overhead extensions, and dips, okay? As for my dumbbells, the lightest thing I'm gonna do today will be a straight arm pushback, so probably around 10 pounds for myself for that, all the way up to my chest press, and I'll try to push up into the 35 or 40 pound range, just whatever weights challenge you in those two ranges of exercise, okay? Thumbs up if you're ready, let's start with our warm up. Turning over to the right side, left arm opens and crosses in two, one, let's go. Good, reach your fingers back when you open it up. Great work, really glad you're here today. I'm excited for this boot camp. Boot camp just means two exercises supersetted together of similar muscle groups for us today. Good, take the same arm, big circles backwards. Three, two, one, and forward circles. Great job, turn it over to the left. Let's open the right arm, reach your fingers back as you swing. Great job. You're gonna feel your shoulders opening up too. Shoulders are used in both a push and a pull workout, everything that we do. Two, one, backward circles. And forwards. Three, two, one, great job. Hands together here at your chest. I want you to push them up and bend. Okay, reach your thumbs back to your back and let's try and open up your lats. Good, straighten and bend. Great job, open it up again. Look up to the sky if you can. And let's swing your arms right past your body to open that up a little bit more for all of our overhead moves. We want your lats, your posterior delt, your triceps, all to be kind of lengthened and ready to work. Good, give me a big cross here in the middle, open wide. Good, pinkies reaching back for the sky. There you go, should be able to feel that stretch right up here. Good, open your chest up. Three, two, one, great job. That's one of my favorite stretches. Come on down to a plank. All right, take your hips up high and then back low. Let's just rotate your shoulders again. Good, drop your hips down and let's go bigger range of motion. Down dog, up dog. Good, one more down and up, and we're gonna walk back to our toes. Great job, just a little wrist rotation here, and we'll get started in about 30 seconds, okay? We're gonna start with a little activation work, so chest and triceps in this circuit. All right, so bringing my sliders out for this one, okay? I'm gonna go onto my knees, and I'm gonna take one arm out to the side, totally optional, okay? Take it here, bend, come back in. Okay, if you're not ready for that, just take your hands here, wide, touch, wide, and touch. Okay, so let's go in three, two, one. Here we go, take one arm out and back in. Good, and I'm still pushing off both arms, but one is a lot wider, and I'm keeping the other one in here close for a tricep move. 
Good. And then I'm focusing on pulling this arm inward using my chest. Seven. Two. One. Good. Leave your sliders there. Flip over onto your tummy. Okay. Thumbs touch the ground and you're going to lift up just your pinkies. Okay. Pinkies to the sky. Three, two, one. Let's go up and pinkies up. Great job. Take them out to the side just a little bit. Pinkies up. Good. Feel your triceps keeping your elbows straight. Good. Take it back down. Diagonal downward. Five, four, two, one, and rest. Good. Back to those slider push-ups. Now I want you to try and see if you can take both arms out at the same time, if you have the sliders. Okay? So take them out, down, pull, back in together. Ready? Let's go. Good job. Squeeze it in. And if you don't have the sliders, just regular push-ups, regular wide push-ups, totally fine. Seven. And rest, good. Pinky's high for the Superman. Okay, and the whole point here is your triceps job is to straighten your elbow or push the elbow straight. So we're just locking that out and lifting it. Two, one, let's go. Make sure you're not shrugging your shoulders up. Keep them down. Good, and this is just an activation couple minutes here so we can really get your mind muscle connection working okay so if you're feeling this more in your back or in your traps and you're doing this relax downward just think flex that arm straight good pinkies up seven three two one and rest all right last round here let's go right into it in five Two, one, come on. Wide, squeeze it in. Good job, keep your core in, 15 seconds. Four. Two, one, and rest, good. All right, last round. Straight arm pinkies, also you can do here. Okay, the whole point is just getting those elbows locked and the pinkies driving up. Three, let's go. There you go, and play with the angles if you wanna take it out to the side, that's okay. Great work, you should feel a little burn going on now. 15. Good, keep the pinkies up, don't flip your hands. Keep the pinkies reaching, reaching, reaching for five. Three, two, one, and rest. Great work, we're ready. We're ready for this workout. So let's go into your chest press. Okay, bench press on the floor or with your bench. got three rounds of chest press followed by standing chest fly alternating here okay we're gonna superset those two so let's start with a weight that you can do chest press challenging yourself 30 seconds so about 8 to 10 reps all right I'm gonna start with my 30s and then I'll drop down to probably my 10 or 15 for that standing fly okay bench press in five two one, let's go. That's it, good job, 15. Let's 
seven, three, two, one, good. All right, come on back. I'm actually gonna start with my, I'm gonna start tens for the standing fly. Open palms, you cross here, lift that elbow up. Three, two, one, let's go. Good, squeeze it up. Don't lift your shoulders, keep them relaxed. It's just about the cross. Think about if I anchored a cable diagonally to that window back there and I'm pulling it across. Good, five, two, one, rest. Great job. Moving on, chest press. All right, here we go. Five, three, two, one. Good, keep rocking, 14 seconds. Three, two, rest, good. All right, standing flies again. And I'm gonna go with my tens again. And let's go. Good, keep the chest up. Cross it over. Four, three, two, one and rest, last round through. I'm gonna bring my magic dumbbell in. All right, push it up if you can. Ready? Two, let's go. Good, 10 more seconds. Three. And rest. All right, one last round of flies. Didn't exactly get the range of motion I wanted there, but I wanna show you, try those weights that scare you, okay? Last round here, two, one, cross, let's go. Open your chest up, cross the elbow, across the front. Squeeze like you're pulling that cable from the diagonal wall behind you. 10. Four, two, one, and rest. Great job. All right, grab some water, big drink, big breath. So hopefully, just like you, setting some big goals for myself, trying weights that scare me. I'm not sure if I can do it. I didn't necessarily get the range of motion I wanted, but I'm there, I'm trying it. I'm trying to move those dumbbells. I want you doing the same for the dumbbells you're using. Whatever that is, a 20 pound dumbbell and a 100 pound dumbbell, I want you trying the weights that are next up that you think, I don't know if I can, just try, okay? That's how we get stronger. So let's move on. Standing overhead tricep extension. Okay, one dumbbell. You can also do this seated. If you feel like your back kind of rounds out a lot. Right here. All right, exercise two with that one. Dips. Okay, let's go there in three, two. Here we go.
Good job. Keep the elbows nice and straight over your shoulders. Extend up. Good. Make sure they don't flare out to the side. Two, one. Great job. All right, dips. Grab your bench or you can rock them right on the floor. Just bending the elbows and straightening. Five, three, two, let's go. And if you straighten your legs out, make sure you don't let your momentum go forward. Okay, your body kind of sits right down in a tube. <laughs> I like to kind of envision myself in like a glass tube. Straight down, straight up. Five, two, and rest, good. Whew. All right, overhead extensions, round number two. Sit or stand, it's up to you. Sometimes I like to stand just so I can pace around, walk a little bit. Two, one, let's go. Fifteen seconds. Seven. Three, two, rest. Good. Whew. I think I'm gonna stay here on the last round for that 30, or with the 30, so I can make sure I get good form. To step your dips up, feel free to elevate your feet. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Fifteen more seconds. Five, two, and rest. Whew. One more round through both. Shake your arms out. I know the triceps start to burn and get fatigued a little quicker than the chest. Let's go, last round. Two, and we're off. Fifteen, good job. Eight. Three. And rest. Great job. Another way to step your tricep dips up. I'm not going to do it here, but you can put something like a plate or a dumbbell in your lap as you elevate your feet. Okay? Try it if you're ready for it. Three, two, let's get it. Fifteen. Ten, nine. Three, two, and rest. Ah. Okay, grab some water, shake your arms out, walk around. Really proud of you for pushing yourself, guys. Everyone that's here today, using weights that you think, I don't know if I can, try them. Okay, we've got another chest circuit up next, but grab some water. I need you to get a little bit of fuel back in your muscles. So, let's breathe for a minute. Okay, so. Up next, we've got our chest fly on the bench and then a close chest press pulse. Okay, so for my flies, I'm gonna use 15s. Okay, and I'm gonna try to stay around the 15 to 20 pound range for those close pulses. All right, flies here, coming out to the side. Nice and rounded arms. Your close pulses right here. Elbows are just almost straightening, but not quite. 
Okay, let's go with the flies. In five, three, grab your dumbbells. Two, one, let's go. Good, anyone else's chest shaking a little bit? <laughs> a little bit of vibration? Good. It's week number two and tier number two. Set big goals. We're finished this week out and we look forward to the next week. Set big goals. Three, two, one. Good, rest. Your close press, you're gonna take it here and up. Okay, I'm gonna do round one with my 15s. Let's go in five. Three, two, one. Come on. Good, now let's slow it down a bit. One, two, one, two. Move slow, move slow. Great job. Three, two, one, good, rest. Oh. Okay, go up in dumbbells if you can, if you need to, if you want to. Go down if you can, if you need to, if you want to. And we go in five, chest fly, round two. Ready? Two, one, come on. Good, full range of motion. Keep your wrist kind of rounded or straight at the outside. Okay, and when you come back up, it's okay to stack them right over your elbows. Good job, come on. And rest, good. Back to the pulses. Rest your hands for a second. Go up if you can, down if you need to. Four, three, two, one, let's go. Good, 15 seconds, slow it down. One, two, one, two. Keep it in the air. You don't lock your arms out. Nine. Three, two, one, good. I give you an extra five seconds of work there just to get us back on track with our time. You've got one more round of both. Up if you can, down if you need to in your dumbbells. Five seconds, okay? Shake your arms out, chest fly, last round. Two, let's go. Nice work. Come on, this is targeted work, right? You feel your chest stretching, feel yourself driving your elbows back into each other. Let's go, eight. Don't lose control at the bottom. There you go. And rest. <sighs> nice work. One last round of pulses. <sighs> then we move on. We rest first and then we move on. <laughs> Two, one, come on. Good work, 14, 13. Five, three, two, one, rest. Oh, great job, you got one minute of rest. Take it, breathe. Proud of you. Move this guy out of the way. Oh wait, just kidding. So we have a skull crusher combo up next. If you wanna lay down on the floor, you can. But that's gonna look like this. One or two dumbbells, it'll be here. Okay, so if you wanna use 
your bench, you can, you can leave it out. And grab some water. Oh, and my arms feel heavy. Good job. All right, I need this so I'm not, I'm not afraid of sliding off the bench. Skull crushers, and then we're gonna go bent arm pullover. So here and back, okay? So the first exercise will be an extension. Second exercise will be holding that tricep angle, okay? So I'm gonna try my 30 for the tricep extension. All right, we're gonna go in three. Skull crusher, two, one, let's go. Take that dumbbell, keep your arms bent this time. Okay, so you're gonna go here, you're gonna bend and pull. Okay, or you can do it two dumbbells, you can just do it one. Ready? Let's go. Got five, four, two, one, let's go. Good, keep your elbows stacked. I know your triceps are tired. I know they're burning. Stay with me. Seven. Two, one, rest. Ah. Okay, bent arm. And you can hold this. You saw me holding it just by the handle. Here and pull. Okay, let's go. Three, two, come on. Great job, 14, 13. Two, one, and rest. You've got one more round. I know this is a tough circuit. It's basically the same move twice. Stay with me. One more round of each. Three, two, let's go. Nice job. Eight, seven. Two, one. Ah, good job. Okay. One last round. Bent arm pullover. Four, three, two, let's go. So this is also gonna get a little bit of your back and posterior deltoid. Seven. Two, 
one rest and amazing job. <sighs> okay, <sighs> moving on. You've got a chest fly pulse and a straight arm pulse back. Okay, this one's gonna be single arm, two rounds each. So we're rocking down to the lighter weights. <sighs> Grab some water. I'm gonna let some fuel get back into your muscles here. Okay, so we're gonna go left arm, fly, right arm, fly, left arm, pulse, right arm, pulse. Four rounds of that since we'll do separate arms. Okay, so I move my bench, I'm gonna pull it back in. <laughs> Your fly is just gonna be a single arm and I want the other arm here so you're not rolling off to the side. Okay, so watch here. Okay, feet on the floor, cross your hand here. You're gonna open, drive it in. Okay, right after that, you'll stand up, switch arms, straight arm, kick back. Okay, still 30 seconds of work, 15 seconds rest. And we'll go in 10 seconds. Are you ready? Yes, we are. We're ready, come on. Five, let's do right arm fly. Three, two, here we go. Good, and you can even put your hand on your chest here. Feel the squeeze in. For me, it's I'm feeling the shaking. <laughs> Good, and try not to rest too much at the top. As soon as you get kind of over your shoulder, open it up again. Five. Two, one, rest. Good, 15 seconds, you take it to the other hand. Straight arm, kick back. Okay, so it's here and bend. Slight little bend in your elbow, but, you, but I want you to keep this angle. Pinky to the sky. Two, one, come on. Great job, stay here for 10. Five, two, one, rest, good. Keep it in this hand. We go back to the chest fly, and we go fly with this arm, okay? Other hand is here, feet are stabilizing you on the floor. Ready? Left arm, fly it out, two, one, let's go. Hand on your chest to feel it. Good, when you get up to a certain point, right here you'll feel the shake and right here you'll feel it stop. I want you to open back up before you feel it stop. There you go. Three, two, one, rest. Come on up. Switch hands. Straight arm kick back with the right, okay? And we're just gonna kinda zigzag like this. Okay, here we go. Five, brace your hands here or here. Two, one, let's go. Good job, eight. Two, one, perfect. Round number two. You're gonna zigzag it back, same arm flat, or not zigzag, keep it in the same arm. We start back at the top with the fly. Okay, right arm fly in three, two, one, open it up, come on. Nice work. 10. Eight. 
and rest. Sorry, I took you about three seconds over. Now zigzag it over to the opposite hand. So we're left arm or kick backing. Kick backing, kicking back. Whichever one you want to choose there. Let's go. Nice work, eight, seven. Two, one, breathe, good. Now you zig, or you keep it, sorry, I keep saying zigzag, I like the zigzag idea. Keep it here in this hand. <laughs> we fly with the left arm. Ready? Right hand on your chest. Two, one, let's go. We'll zigzag after this. So I'm just gonna think zigzag after the chest fly, not the kickback. You're doing fantastic. Come on, keep this neuromuscular connection. Squeeze and feel it. Don't just get through these reps. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Pull back to the middle. And rest. Come up. Now we zigzag. Other arm kick back. Okay, so we're on the right arm. We'll go one more time through this and then we'll close it out with a tricep and chest burnout. Okay, we're almost done. Two, one, let's go. Fifteen. Good. This last round, we're just gonna go, go, go. Roll right into the next move. Five seconds, you'll get a 15 second break. Then we'll go 30, 30, 30, 30. And rest. Good job. All right, so just finished up. We start back, right arm fly, stand up, left arm kick back. Left arm fly, stand up, right arm kick back. We go in two. One, come on right arm, let's fly. Keep your core tight, come on. Pulse it out, you've got 10. Keep it moving, keep it moving. Stand up in four, three, two, one, come on up, zigzag over, straight arm kick back, let's rock. And you can also do this if you're on the floor, just rolling up here. Okay, that's totally fine. With these quicker transitions at the end, you just wanna sit up and get to your knees, that's perfect. 10. All right, get ready to keep it here. Lay back, left arm fly, three, two, one, let's go left arm. Keep it moving here. Okay, don't stop and rest at the top. Fly it back out. Nine seconds, you stand up and switch to the right arm for the last kick back. Four, three, Two, one, sit up. And if you're on the floor, you're just here. Okay, keep it moving. Fifteen. Come on, push high. Pinky to the sky. Nine. Two. And rest, amazing job. Oh. <sighs> okay, we're done with the bench now, for real, for real. I know I've told you that at least four times and then pulled it back out, but truly, <laughs> we're done with the bench. <sighs> okay, little burnout series. You've got a two-handed chest fly standing, so I want you to think of serving, insert your favorite food, pizza, ice cream, potato chips, whatever you want. Serving that right out to the front, Pulling it back in, okay? I'm gonna use my 10 pound dumbbells, all right, here 
or here. Either way, you're jamming these dumbbells in towards each other, here and here, okay? When you get done there, take these light dumbbells, flip your hands facing behind you, okay? And you're pushing straight arm, pulse, okay? Two arms. Are you ready? All right, let's go. Three, two, drive those dumbbells in towards each other, push out slow. One, two, one, two. Good. It's more about the push together than the straight arm extension, okay? Drive in. You can see I don't come all the way out to straight arm. Six, five, three, two, and rest. Good, feel free to drop it down to your knees if you want. Okay, we're here. Ready? We're doing great. Four, three, two, one, let's go. Good, keep it up, keep it up. Last 15, bend, straighten, bend, straighten, keep that going. Nice work, and that's gonna be your last three rounds. You've got two more left. Six. Three, two, one, stand it up. Great job. Press it in and out. 15 seconds here, 15 seconds here. Two more rounds. Round two, ready? Three, two, press hard right here, go. Good, pinkies are reaching to each other. So are my thumbs. Fifteen. Eight, seven. Three, two, one, rest, come on down. Fifteen seconds straight, fifteen seconds bent. Doing okay? All right, good, me too. We're almost there. I know you're like, stop answering me. That's not what I wanted to say. <laughs> two, one, straight arm, push those palms to the sky. Back. It is, it's what we've gotta say. It's what we've gotta keep telling ourselves. You make this heavier by thinking negative, honestly. I know I'm an eternal optimist on here and in life, but if you make sure that your thoughts are not, oh, this is bad, oh, this is hard, but instead, I can do this, bend your arms, let's go. You'll be a lot more likely to try the heavier weights and to get through the weights that you're using. One more, and rest, good. Last round, fly it in. And out, keeping your arms bent, you're squeezing like you're trying to smash a tomato or an orange. Ready? Let's go. Squeeze together. Good. 15 seconds, pause in the middle and just drive right here. Go, 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 go. Hinge a little bit, push your palms towards each other. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. Great job, yes we can. Last 30 seconds of work. 15 seconds straight arm, 15 seconds bent, and maybe a five second hold at the end if we can. Let's try. Three, two, one, come on. Straight arm. Control it on the way down too. That's a lot of the times where you'll feel the straight arm extension. Good, feel that difference? One more, lower slowly, and now we bend and push. Let's go. Go, 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 this is it. Push through the burn, push through the fatigue. Five, four, and you're gonna give me a five second straight arm hold in two, one, hold it up. Four, three, two, one, and rest. And you've made it to your cool down. Amazing job. Sit back on your knees, reach your hips back over your heels, and just let your arms relax. This feels nice. 
Big deep breath, fill your lungs up. I hope you're proud of yourself today. I hope you connected with pushing every single rep to the best of your ability, okay? I know this is literal sweat equity that you put in to get results, and I don't take it lightly that you choose to be here. Come on up onto your hands and knees, and I want you to take your arms out nice and wide. Drop your chest down as you reach your elbows out. Great job. A lot of people identify triceps as less important than biceps when they're working on getting some arm tone and definition. But triceps make up two thirds or three fourths of the muscles in your arms. You've got three tricep heads, one in the biceps. So if you're looking to kind of firm up your arms, we've got to do workouts like this, okay? Cross your arms over your chest. Good, lift your chin up to the sky. Grateful, we're full of gratitude. We're so thankful for our abilities, our strength, the day that we have today to make it the best day that we can. Good. Relax your arms, stand up if you're not standing already. And let's pull your fingers back toward your elbows. Just extremely grateful for what we can do, the time that we have here together. I'm grateful for the fact that you recognized you are worth this time, that you are a priority in your own life and your own health. Switch your hands over, pull back. Great job. And we've got a full body workout tomorrow. Make sure you tune in for that one. Okay, hands up, pull over, stretch on Sunday. And I'm just really, really proud of you. Let's wrap up boot camp week with this workout, one more workout and a stretch, and we move on to continuing to progress our strength in the next couple weeks. I want you to continue pushing those weights that, yeah, honestly, they're scary. The 50 pound dumbbells for me, never tried it on a chest press, but today I felt good, so I thought, let me go for it. Didn't get the full range of motion that I would ideally like to get, but I will get there. Now, now I know that it's possible because I've tried, okay? Didn't fully crush it 100% perfect, but I know it's close. So I know if I keep working at the things that strengthen my chest muscles, my triceps, my shoulder stabilizers, it will come. Okay, but if I never try that, number one, I never have a new goal, right? And number two, I never know how close I am to achieving my next goal. That wasn't that far off from a really great set. So if you had the same experience today, remember that you're not that far off from another huge step in progress. You've just gotta try. You've gotta try the things that are not convenient, not easy, not in the mood for it. You've gotta go forward with the mindset of, I want the next goal. I can, if I just kind of get out of my own way, mentally I put these blocks that are up and they say, this is scary, this is a lot. Move them to the side and just step up and try. What's the worst that could happen? You drop down to a lighter weight, that's fine. But you've gotta try. You've gotta mentally subject yourself to that thing that's hard and go for it. Remember, we can do hard things. We've just gotta try. So make sure you keep doing that for yourself right after this. Go make a decision that is supporting this workout. Water, food, sleep, mental health, whatever it is. And then I will see you back here tomorrow, okay? Great job today. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up, please, and then subscribe to the channel and make sure your bell notification is on so you get that alert. I will see you right back here tomorrow. Bye, everyone. Just watch me.